Before we use custom paint, we should first understand what is the use of custom paint. Suppose you have joined a painting institute to learn painting. To paint what you have in your mind, you need to first have a canvas. Also, you need to have painting colors and a painter which is going to be you. Similarly, if you want to draw something custom on the screen with flutter, you need to use custom paint. This widget has many properties. For now, we are going to utilize painter and size property. By using size property, you define size of the canvas. So here, we are going to pass size object whose width is 300 and height is 400. To the painter property, we need to pass instance of a custom painter, right? But a custom painter is an abstract class, so we can't instantiate it. To fix this, we are going to pass instance of the custom painter child class. So we are going to create a class whose name is going to be master painter. You can give whichever name you want and we are going to extend this class with the custom painter and we can pass this instance here. Also you need to override two methods. The first one is paint and the second one is should repaint. Inside the paint method, we are going to do all the custom painting stuff. Should repaint method is used to control repainting on the canvas. This method will help you to optimize your custom paint by returning false. We are telling Flutter not to repaint if it receives new values. Let me refresh. Before we draw anything, we should first understand in which direction canvas height and width is growing. First of all, think of canvas as a 2D graph and this is your origin and uh, this is your positive x axis and uh, this is your positive y axis. Now we are going to draw a line which will start from the origin and it will end here and a line is going to cover full canvas width. To draw line, we need to use draw line method. To this method, we need to pass starting offset and the ending offset, right? The starting offset is going to be 0, which is going to be 0, 0 and the ending offset is going to be size dot width because this line is going to cover whole canvas width and we need to pass paint. So this size variable contains canvas height and width which we have defined here. Now we are going to create instance of a paint class to make line appear on the screen and we are going to set stock width to and the paint color we are going to set is black. Now we are going to pass this paint instance here. Let me refresh. As you can see, we have successfully drawn a line here. This is how you set up and use custom paint. I hope you found this video helpful. To learn more about custom paint and flutter advance, you can subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.